NARC repellent. By obeying the first golden rule of freedom, which is get out and stay out, you, of course, want to keep narcissists away from you. As part of a total no-contact regime, it's important for you to ensure that the narcissist is kept away from you, but also that you keep yourself away from the narcissist. If you are an empath, you have an addiction to the narcissist, and your addiction sits at the heart of you, trying to ensure that you enter into one or more of the five arenas of interaction for the purposes of feeding that addiction. It does so through the creation of emotional thinking. This means that you will use flawed logic. You'll make decisions which seem sensible to you, but actually they are not. It will cause the corruption of your empathic and narcissistic trait. For instance, your pride is dented, so you become preoccupied with thoughts of revenge over the narcissist thinking, nobody does this to me and gets away with it, which of course results in the breach of no contact and a visit from the devil's pitchfork. It also causes you to feel in a particular way, charging up that battery of feeling so that you perhaps feel angry, in pain, miserable, sad, irritated, upset, so that you then act upon those feelings, thus breaching no contact further. Emotional thinking is the enemy within, and the only way to drive it down and to keep it at a low level is through the implementation and maintenance of a total no-contact regime, or an almost total no-contact regime where you have legitimate exceptions, which are few and far between. Most people fail at no contact because they don't actually understand how to do it and because of the influence of their emotional thinking. Many people believe they can't do no contact when actually they can. It, of course, requires some effort. It requires discipline, but it can be achieved. And, of course, this is the thing that damages us the most. We absolutely hate no contact because you are not only having removed yourself from us, but by having nothing more to do with us ever again, you are telling us that we simply do not exist. And that is anathema to us. It's the most potent weapon that you have. All the thoughts about fluffing the narcissist, trying to maintain some kind of relationship with the narcissist, looking to get revenge on the narcissist in some alternative way beyond no contact, all of those things should, for, should and ought to pale by comparison with the effect of a no-contact no regime. We can't stand it. But it's also important to ensure that you repel the narcissist as part of your no-contact regime to enable you to understand what are the things that will keep the narcissist away from you and, just as importantly, to dispel some of the myths which cause you to think, aha, this will keep the narcissist away from me, so I'll do this. And actually, it won't. There are too many providers of information which get this wrong. Too many providers of information who don't understand narcissism, although they are well-intentioned, and they only have part of the picture. And other providers who think they know all about narcissism, even though they are unaware narcissists themselves, and what they end up doing, powered by their grandiosity, powered by their need to assert control over you, is to tell you, if you do this, this will keep the narcissist away from you forever. And they're wrong. Their desire to assert control over you unconsciously causes them to give you misinformation. As you know, I am a narcissistic psychopath, and I'm aware of what I am and what I do. I understand also my kind inside out, because I have spent a very long time observing my kind, interacting with my kind. They're in my family. I've had intimate partners, not primary sources, but secondary sources who are narcissists. I have friends who are narcissists. I've worked with them. I've disincentivized many. I know my kind inside out, and that's why I'm able to blow apart these myths which keep you stuck. And therefore, part of protecting yourself is to become narc repellent. This logic bulletin, in two detailed parts, tells you all about the myths and the truths about what keeps the narcissist at bay. It is crammed with information. You will learn how to make yourself narc-repellent. 
To achieve this, you need to understand the myths about keeping the narcissist at bay, why those particular aspects are myths, and why they simply do not work. Explained to you by one who would know, me, a narcissist himself. This will ensure that you then don't use them, and that you don't fall into the trap that has been set by your emotional thinking. This material also sets out the truths about becoming narc repellent, so that you not only know what to avoid, but also what you must do. The detailed logic bulletin addresses the following key components, amongst many more. The effect of massive wounding. The effect of the narcissist gaining a new intimate partner primary source. The impact of you holding damaging information about the narcissist. The effect of you exposing the narcissist. What happens when you unleash the attack dog? How the narcissist will respond when you have the narcissist worked out. The perils of inter intel gathering on the narcissist. The mastermind narcissist. The out of reach concept. The walk away, don't talk away principle. Avail yourself of this extremely useful information for just $14.99 by using the link in the video description which will take you to my Gumroad site and there having made your payment, an email will be provided allowing you to access the detailed two audio files which are crammed with information to enable you to become NARC repellent. Thank you for listening.